Hey, Fred Kelly, your nerd sidekick here again. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate seven keyboard shortcuts that should make your life easier. These shortcuts specifically use the Windows key. Now, you may be asking, what is the Windows key? Well, that's the Windows key here. And yours may look slightly different depending on when your keyboard was made. Now, you may be shocked to know that the Windows key has been around since 1994. In this video, I assume you are running Windows 10 on your computer, so some of what I'm about to show you may not work in previous versions of Windows. In this video, I'm only going to cover seven shortcuts, but there are many, many more Windows key keyboard shortcuts, and I'll cover those in future videos. When the next video is published, you'll be able to click up here to open that video. And also you can check the description below as well for links to those videos. All right, so let's get started. The first Windows key keyboard shortcut is simply the key by itself. When you press the Windows key, the start menu opens. It's the same as clicking the Windows logo down here. So if I just click that, it opens. So if I press the key, that brings up the, the start menu like you see here. So without touching your mouse, the start menu is open. And now if you type anything here, you'll be typing into the search box. You can quickly access things such as your display settings by typing the first few letters of the word display, for example, and then press the enter key on your keyboard. Or if I close that and press the key again to reopen, I could use the up and down arrows here to scroll through the various programs that are installed on my computer. You can close the start menu by pressing the window key again or just pressing the escape key. The second Windows key keyboard shortcut is Windows key plus D. For this next shortcut, I'm going to open up several programs so we have Windows open. I'll press the Windows key and then I'll press D. In this case, D stands for desktop, and this will show your Windows desktop, effectively hiding any windows that you may have open. Now, once you're finished looking at the desktop, just press the Windows key plus D again, and you'll go back to where you were. The third Windows key shortcut is Windows key plus I. This opens up Windows settings, and from here, you can view or make changes to all kinds of settings in Windows including your display, sound, printers, your uh, network and internet connection, Wi-Fi. You can personalize the look of your desktop. You can uninstall programs and apps, and you can make changes to the accounts on your computer, and you can get Windows updates. All kinds of things are right here, right in this window. So that's a great place to be able to access all of that in one place. The fourth Windows key shortcut is the Windows key plus E. Managing files on your computer, including copying, moving, and deleting files is done with a program called File Explorer. You can quickly launch the File Explorer program by pressing the Windows key plus E. This one is easy to remember because E stands for Explorer, File Explorer. Now, on a related note, dealing with files can be confusing and intimidating. So if you want to learn more information about how to use File Explorer, I have a series of videos you can watch to learn how to use File Explorer. Just click the link up here or check the description below. The fifth Windows key shortcut is actually a series of shortcuts using the number keys. If you have programs pinned to the taskbar, and that's the area down here where you see these icons, you can quickly launch the, any of those programs that are pinned to the taskbar by pressing the Windows key plus the number that corresponds to the position of the pinned icon on the taskbar. For example, this first icon on the left is in the number one position, and if I press the Window key plus one, that will open my browser. And uh, this program here, that's in the second position, so I can press the window key and two, and that will open the notepad program. The windows key plus zero will launch the 10th program pinned to the taskbar if you had one. You can't launch programs beyond the 10th pinned icon. 
I can quickly switch back and forth between any of these programs that are pinned down here by just paying attention to where the icon is positioned. So right now I have the notepad open. That's the second position here. If I wanted to switch to the browser, I could press the one window key and one. And that break takes me to the browser. I can press window key and two. That's back to the notepad and I can just go to any pinned program that is already open. Easily switch back and forth between those. Now you can't use the numpad in combination with the Windows key. You do have to use the numbers that are along the top of the keyboard. The sixth window key shortcut is the Windows key plus the print screen key. Now some may say print screen and some may be abbreviated. Uh, and it's usually up somewhere in this area of a keyboard above the enter key. Now, when you press Windows key and print screen, you'll notice that the screen will briefly dim, but nothing else seems to happen. However, Windows has now saved a screenshot to a special folder named Screenshots on your computer's drive. So you can view this folder by going to your pictures folder. There are several ways to access your pictures, but here's just a uh, one quick way to do that. If you'll go down here to your start button, click that, and come up here to this icon right here. And you can see it says pictures if you hover over it long enough. It looks like a little picture. So click that and you can open this if you want to maximize that a little bit. And you can see we're in the pictures folder here. And you'll see now that there is a folder here named screenshots. The screenshots folder will be created automatically if it was not there already. If I double click that, here is a screenshot of what we uh, were just doing a few minutes ago. So you can see uh, those screenshots are saved there automatically. And those are PNG files. You can edit those in picture editing programs. You can share them online or just simply delete them. By the way, if you have multiple monitors connected to your computer, the screenshot will include all of your screens in one giant picture. And here's a bonus keyboard shortcut. An alternative to saving a screenshot is to use the Alt key instead of the Windows key plus the print screen. Rather than saving the screenshot, instead the screenshot is placed onto your computer's clipboard and you can then paste the screenshot into other programs such as Gmail, Photoshop, or in this case I'll paste it here into Word. And there is the screenshot pasted into Word. The seventh keyboard shortcut is the Windows key plus X. When you press Windows key plus X, this little menu pops up down here on the left side of the screen. And this gives you quick access to a bunch of what I would call power features or areas of Windows. This menu is unofficially called the WinX menu or the power user menu. Or an easy way to remember this is to just think about the, call it the expert menu. So it's the win expert menu. So anyway, if you are a casual user of Windows, you might not need access to most of these features, but if you like to fiddle around with Windows, this little menu makes it easy to access parts of Windows that you will need all the time. For example, the device manager here gives you access to hold on your hats, managing your devices. So I can click that and there's the device manager. If I go back to the WinX menu, I could click on, for example, the settings, which is the, the screen that I showed you earlier. Back in the WinX menu, notice that every line on this menu has an underlined letter. If you want to do a search, for example, here, just instead of clicking on it, all you have to do is press the S key on your keyboard and search is immediately launched. Very quickly, you can memorize the launch key and be accessing those areas of Windows like an expert a win expert. No. So there you have it, seven Windows key shortcuts that should make your life a little bit easier and make using your computer a little bit more fun. Click the like button if you got some value out of these tips and click the share button to share it with someone who needs these tips. Now, using a keyboard can actually be, be much more efficient than using a mouse once you know the shortcut. So watch this video again and practice each one so you can begin to memorize them. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite keyboard shortcuts are and whether or not these shortcuts help you. 
I'm also interested in what type of videos you would like to see next. Comment below. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Fred Kelly, your nerd sidekick, making you the technology hero. If you haven't already, click up here to subscribe. You can watch the tutorials about how to use File Explorer that I mentioned earlier by clicking the playlist here. I'll see you in the next video.